What's up guys, it's the Bourbon Hunter. You know what time it is. We're getting ready to go bourbon hunting. I got my buddy Zach here today. What are you looking for? Some E.H. Uh, e. Taylor single barrel. All right, let's go get them. See you there. Wild Turkey Rare Breed 59. Look, Kentucky Spirit too, 79.99. Ezra Brooks, South Carolina State pick right here for 49.99. Ezra Brooks cast strength. There we go, single barrel. Check that out. What, what you looking at, Zach? Right here. That Larceny Barrel Brew. Ooh, 6 9. Like Dang. Now, the kind that I like was it the Charlie or the Bravo? I've had all of them the A, okay. B, and C. And the C is the later in the year release. What's the one we tried at your parents' house? All of us? B522. Okay, so it was Bravo. Okay. Yeah, and this one's C921, which is from 2000. 21, I believe. Uh, four Roses Single Barrel, Ben Holiday. Why do I feel like this is sought after? This Ben Holiday bottled in bond right here. Look at that. That's a great price for Peerless right there. I'm not $69.99. Dude, that's a great price. I've seen that bottle for $100. <gasps> Full proof. Best in the business. When Let's go. Let's go. So I've been, uh, similar to I've been looking for this. Let's go. Palmetto whiskey. Yep, I saw that in a store in Charleston and don't necessarily know a whole lot about it. Some people said they did not like the Oak and Eden and then some people said that they did because it's got that wooden spire in it. This is a four grain spire. So Drew picked up a bottle of this, but this is what you should... That's the I think one. I've tried this that's the one to get yeah this is the one to get the single barrel now this is really interesting whiskey finished in rum port and dunn vineyards cabernet barrels wow 124 proof i have this one with me you need to try it yeah we're trying it. i mean i've never heard of one being in rum port and dunn vineyards cabernet barrels look at this barrel seagrass 24 year it's all old and dried out like that man right there 121 proof, 130 proof for the 16 year. Heaven's Door Ascension, which is something that I've been kind of looking for for a little while. Then you got the Decade Series from Heaven's Door for 99. From over here, you got a couple of Sagmore Spirits. Your Bakers that I told y'all to look out for with the label, eight year, 10 months. That's a pretty good Bakers right there. Doc Holiday over here, age seven year. Forbidden. I've never heard of this. That's pretty cool. Small batch. JP Weiser's 15 year. Yeah, of course you got all the Buffalo Trace products here. A little bit of Blanton's and Buffalo Trace. E.H. Taylor's, Willer SR, and the Eagle Rare. How much are some of these? This is a load of barnacles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go anywhere. We have a giveaway going on right now. So many of y'all last video were talking about my OF. Now, I don't have an OnlyFans yet, I'm flattered, but I do have this. I have an Old Forester single barrel, barrel proof rye coming your way. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and comment OF down below to be entered to win. See you there. First thing we see when we walk in is Sazerac Rye, Weller, and Buffalo Trace. Now the Buffalo and Weller are a little expensive, but that's just kind of how it is nowadays. Then we have a Knob Creek 18 and obviously the big Knob Creek 9s. We have an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which everybody loves. Super excited about that. Castle and Key, can't go wrong with that. Private Select Maker's Mark. Now these grabbed my attention because they were just overall different oak staves in them. As well as the next thing that we saw was super interesting. Made by Orphan Barrel, it was called Scarlet Shade really drew my attention a 14 year old rye from orphan barrel i don't know how much better you can get from that but it was at msrp at 200 dollars. now check this out okay we have their display shelf for all of their allocations now the way this actually works is that it is a point system within their store that actually corresponds with the amount of bottles that you can get so the highest points rewards are allocated to the top shelf and then the lowest section are any time to where you can buy this High West Prisoner share is by far the top of my in search of list. Super excited to see that in person, but I'll never be able to get it. 
because I don't typically travel to the store very often. And there's a good reason for that. Even though they have some really cool old soul store picks and the Stellum Rye that looks great, but not necessarily interested in that. Have you seen these blue notes in South Carolina? Just letting you know, you should check them out. Not from this store, but maybe from a different store. You got a little booker here and also some bookers apprentice batch. You got your Heaven's Door, Heaven's Door 10 year, and of course, all of the other good stuff. The Stranded Hands, which I've been interested in, and the Barrel. But the reason because I really think that the store owner is a complete and utter jackass. Here at Bottles, checking it out. Yeah, that's oh. trash. <laughs> it is trash. I'll be trash. Kind of. Oh. That was made for the Kingsman movie. Huh. Yep. And they've continued it since. Made it a full line product. Knob Creek 18. Oh. Knob Creek 9. Old Pepper Distillery. Single malt small batch. Check that out. Old Pepper. What else they got here? Angel's Envy Private, 110 proof. It's got the wings on it. Private barrel from bottles, barrel proof, 127. Check that out. There's your store picks. Yeah, I do like makers, yep. Some of their store picks here, 120 proof. Knob Creek, always a good thing to grab here. The Firefly store picks are my favorite. I do like these a lot. Even though they're smaller, they are good. Zara Brooks, Yellowstone. See, this is 115 proof. And the other one was 102 down in Charleston. Is Yellowstone any good? So I've I've had a couple store picks and they're not they're not my favorite, but I also don't think they're bad. Um, a lot of people have been commenting about the blue label old soul actually. Hmm. Like that is probably one to look into. Yep, Castle and Key Restoration Barrel Pick. Check that out. That is nice. Single barrel. I like the look of that bottle too. That's a fancy looking bottle. Single barrel. Mmm. 115 proof. What do y'all know about this field and sound right here, Bottled and Bond? Just like Bruzel, I am a Bottled and Bond sucker. Long Island, New York. Yep. New York, another one from New York, just like Widow Jane. All right, so look, I saw Bruzel pick this up in his most recent video, and I tried it. I tried it, I gave it a shot, I hated it. Now, that might be controversial to some of you, but I did not enjoy Cooper's Crap 100 Proof. Leave it on the shelf. What you got, Michter's American? Yes, one of blended small batch. One of my favorite from their lineup by far. Is this, a, is this just the regular Mickey's American or is this different? That is just the regular one. Okay. But it is my favorite out of their entire lineup. They're all small batches, but the rye is actually a single barrel. It's a pretty good price. Yeah. That is a good price for it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yep. If you're if you're getting a bottle today, I would say that's a good one to grab. Yeah. You got some of the Templeton Rye's. You got the 10 year as well. Everybody was very controversial about this stuff last time in the other video, so. I don't know if that's worth the price though, so. Uncle Nearest Rye for $93. I can't believe that it's that expensive in Greenville, but for $50 in Charleston, you could pick this bottle up right here. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Bill allocation shelf, look at that. Barrel seagrass. Are those just aged longer than the uh... I don't. I don't know what makes these so expensive. I really don't. They didn't look much different from the bottles at the other store. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this is in there. You disgust me. <laughs> Rebel 10, 105. That's, that's not a bad price for a Rebel product. The Isaac Bowman, also not really sure why that's in there. I guess they don't have other stuff to put in this shelf. That's what it looks like. Good to see Anita's Choice up here in Greenville, South Carolina. All the way from Hilton Head. Palmer's Stretch Authentic Rye Whiskey. What is this? Burnt Church. So it's the same people that make a neatest choice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh boy, what's he getting into? This is the first time I've ever seen a, just a regular barrel bourbon. Yep, that's their batch. That's their just batch castrate yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yep. 
that stuff's really good, but there's some batches that are better than others. You gotta try and look up which ones. That's all for today. Consider supporting us here. And as always, join the Discord where we got great people talking about bourbons and whiskeys in your area. Bourbon Hunter, out. Yeah. I mean, you can, yeah, but I'm gonna stop. Yeah. I'm gonna stop talking at some point, and then what are you gonna say? Do you know what you're gonna say? <laughs> I thought I'd be like, "Hey, I'm Zach." No, I don't introduce. You. I'm introducing you. Okay. And just be like, but I'm fucking ready. I don't know. I'll just, say something. I'll say just something. do something funny. I'll, I'll say something. something. What's up, guys? It's the Bourbon Hunter. You know what time it is? We're gonna go bourbon hunting. Got my buddy Zach here today. We're gonna go hang out. Fucked.